Hi, I'm Steve Pond. We're here at the RAP studio at the Toronto Film Festival with Paul Dano, the director of Wildlife, Carrie Mulligan, one of the film stars. Welcome. It's a beautiful film. I saw it at Sundance and, and, and loved it, but it's not, it's, it's from a Richard Ford novel, which isn't a book that you would pick up and think, oh, this should be a movie. I mean, Paul, what, what was it that made you think there was a film there? I think it was just the way the book made me feel. Um, I uh, identified not just with the, 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 the boy's experience, but I think with both of the parents. Um, and I think I saw uh, like a tremendous amount of love and compassion in the writing, equaled by a tremendous amount of struggle, which I've also found just to sort of be true in life. And um, these sort of very... Uh, American themes, the American dream, like the nuclear family. It's just always been something that I've loved um, and uh, have feelings about. Um, and uh, the idea of making a family portrait just seemed like, um, you know, the right place to start for me as a filmmaker. Carrie, what, what appealed to you about the story? You, you play a, a woman who has a, a young boy and her husband just announces he's going to go off and fight a, f a fire for a while. Um, <laughs> and, and I think everybody sort of makes some bad decisions in the film, but I mean, what, what made you want to play this woman? I mean, lots of different things. I mean, the bad decisions were a big part of it, you know, um, all of the mistakes that she makes and um, how the wheels come off her whole life. It's sort of an amazing little glimpse at this week in, her, in this character's life where everything kind of goes terribly wrong and her trying to figure her way through it um for me the the thing that really jumped out was that sort of weird nostalgic whiplash where you suddenly realize where you are in life and how you got you know you can't quite figure out how you got there and I think that's what she's going through in the film that she's she's been part of this like family unit and she's been a mother and she's been a homemaker and she's and and the and the and the thing that you have as a mother, which is this constant to-do list of how you get through your life, you're constantly thinking of what your children need and what the next thing is, and um, and that that can sometimes take over who you are as a person. Um, and I think that's what she's going through. She's she's just become a, a mother and a wife and doesn't really know who she is anymore. Um, and that's the week where you meet her. Carrie, were there particular challenges for you in, in playing this woman? The thing that sort of scared me was that she. She, I, she didn't have a plan, and and so and in each scene, sort of as the film goes on, she gets a little bit more unravelled, and um, and so negotiating that stuff was sort of particularly in the sequence um, at Warren Miller's house, the character that Bill Camp plays, um, where it all kind of spins out of control a bit, and um, I sort of didn't really know how to do that when I read it. Um, I mean, there were lots of things about it. Um, and and just working with such brilliant actors like Bill Camp and um, and Ed Oxenbold who plays our son and Jake. So uh, it was sort of you know going toe to toe with really brilliant people. Um, but yeah, I, d I mean I tend to t the thing that excites me about doing jobs is when they're really nerve wracking to take on. Um, so it always feels that way. If I'm doing something, it's because I sort of am a bit scared of it and don't really know how to do it when I go in and rely on having a great director to get, guide me through it. Mm -hmm.